So, congratulations on getting through to day seven of the seven day pricing challenge. Um, it's a really fantastic achievement that you've actually made the commitment and gone through the long haul to get here. The key thing is now you've got to take the information that you've gathered through the last six days and today and then uh, activate it within your business and just see if there's anything that you can tweak or change within your business to hopefully charge a little bit more for your uh, products or services and just to price them a little bit more confidently with some of the background information which I've given you. So just to summarise what we've kind of been through, so we, first of all we went through the common pricing mistakes on day one. Uh, we talked about goals on day two and ultimately why you're doing this. We looked at um, how you go about um, market research on day three. We talked about product packages and how to um, create uh, um, you know, gold, silver, bronze type approach and what the logical next step might be. And reducing down the number of uh, the complexity of the off what we're offering. Um, Day five, we talked about uh, your competitors and how you compare to them. And then on day six, we talked about the average customer lifetime value. So um, what I want you to think about today is now that we know, um, so for example, from day two, what our goal is. So if we want to earn £100,000 a year and our customer lifetime value is £2,000, well, we know that we've got to get 50 clients over the next 12 months, for example. Break that down a little bit more. So that's a um, little over four clients a month that we've got to bring into that. That's one client a week. How confident do you feel about pulling in one client per week into your business and getting the prices that we discussed throughout this seven-day challenge? Um, and just to leave you with a thought, so one client a week might feel like it's quite a lot. How about if you doubled or tripled your pricing and then all of a sudden now you've only got to get one client in the next two weeks or one client in the next four weeks, for example, and how sustainable would your business be there? The beauty of um, uh, how we architect our products and our pricing is that it is a bit of a game and we can um, choose to play the game a little bit. It could be that one day we pitch our, our products out at the prices we're charging today, but tomorrow we could um, rehash our brochure on our website and start pitching it out at double the price or treble the price that we're actually talking about. Now, I, I'm not a big fan of you just doubling or trebling your prices and offering the same service. I always like to um, encourage people to think about how can you add more value into the, the, the products or services you're offering? Because actually the really hard part of business is acquiring new clients. If you can acquire a new client and make two or three times the amount of money out of each client, it means you it reduces down the number of new clients you've got to onboard. Um, and it reduces down your marketing spend. So we talked about in the customer lifetime value of, say, spending £300 to acquire a client that then spends £2,000 with us. But then how about if your marketing spend doesn't change and the marketing effort you put in doesn't change, but for your £300 spend, you could actually get clients on board at £4,000 or £8,000 or £20,000, for example. So actually focusing your efforts on getting one client versus five clients, um, you can start to see that um, it becomes easier, but you've got to find out ways of monetizing what you do, adding value, so that you can get closer to your goals with fewer clients. Um, also, that just gives you extra time to devote into those clients or get a little bit of your life back. It, it involves taking a bit of a leap of faith, being brave, and activating some of the things that we've gone through on this seven-day challenge. So if you want to know more, like come and ask questions. Um, uh, to me in the Fearless group or online business startup. Uh, if you want to recap any of the seven days that we've gone through or if you've got any questions at all, please fire them across to me in an email, robin at robinwaite.com. I'd be more than uh, happy to help out and I look forward to seeing you at a future seven day challenge.